This is you. You stand at the end of a queue. You are nervous because today is a special day. Reason? This is the only day where you have no responsibilities, no worries, and no limitations. For the first and only time in your life, you can do whatever you desire. But you have a job to do, and that job involves reaching to the end of the queue. Yet, as you can see, reaching the end will take hours, and by the time you are finished, you won't have time to fully live your day. Your only chance of freedom will be gone. However, you have power to instantly reach the end of the queue and start your free day right away. But others will spend more time in the queue. They might spend more time than you initially would, or worse, they might never make it to the end. Will you use that power? But before you answer, let's look more closely at some of the queues. Look to your left. Do you see him? Look a little bit closer. The old man in the yellow jacket has a dream. Since he was a child, he wanted to see all the ancient main cities. But due to family issues, work, and financial troubles, he always postponed it. Now, at the age of 77, he finally has the time and money to achieve his dream. He bought tickets for Peru, and his flight is waiting for him at the end of the queue. He needs to make it on time, because he won't live long enough for another flight. Now to your right, do you notice a couple? This couple will never become a family. That's because Jacob and Sarah are infertile. They can never feel the delight of having a child, never teach him or her how to ride a bike or how to swim, never see their child attend school for the first time, never will tell stories before bedtime. Never see their child holding a diploma, and never see it start his or her own life. However, many things can change in life, even in fertility of Jacob and Sarah. They agree to take part in an operation that can give them a chance of having children. They will take the operation at the place at the end of the coup. They won't be able to arrange such an operation again, so they must make it to the end. Now go a little left, left with that nervous girl. She's not nervous. She said, Caroline once had a very dear friend, a friend who helped her recover from depression and restored her joy for life. That friend is dead now. A memorable thrill was going to be made, but the costs are too high for the friend's family. All the friend will get is a dual quick burial. Caroline can't allow that. She can't allow the person who saved her life live in simplicity. That person deserves a special goodbye. She gathered all her savings and went to the queue to pay for the arrangements. The final schedule forced her to pay the arrangements today. If she doesn't pay, there will be no fancy funeral. Now go for the right. See that blonde woman with the blue sweater? Her name is Katie. Katie worked for an office clerk for 22 years. During that time, her life was nothing but calculating data, filing reports, and obeying the orders of her higher-ups with more importance. She wants to have importance too. She wants to find a higher position in her career and feel more significant. Thankfully, a company acknowledged the project she proposed to them. They invited her to an interview, which if she passes, will make her a chief executive. To make it to the interview one time, she needs to get past the queue. And this might be the only opportunity that she has and will ever get. Let's move away from the queue and look up. Take a closer look at that security worker with the orange vest. His job is to make sure there's no trouble until no one is left in the queue. He doesn't like it a lot, but he has to do it in order to feed his poor family. He also needs to work on other part-time jobs when the shift is over. By working at more jobs, he can earn more and by earning more, he will bring more bread to home. If he lingers here longer, he may not be able to take any part-time jobs today and go home with an unsatisfactory amount. All these people here have their own stories and their own reason to be in this queue. Some are cliche, some are trivial, and some are just straight out stupid. Most of them might not seem important to you. But what's important is that you share this queue with them, and you have a choice. You can either let their goals pass your dreams, or you can do the opposite. In the end, we may ask this question. Should you first satisfy your self-interest, or should you care about every single human being on the planet, even if it ruins you? If you ask the omniscient voice, well, it doesn't give a clear answer.